Hey Gearheads, Jeff with Gear Report. We just did the, the long walkthrough of the Vessel Supplies Survival Kit. That one's 30 minutes long. If you want all the details and everything in here, I'll put a link in the description of this video. You can go check it out and get all the details on everything. What we're going to do right here is a real quick flyby to show you what's in the kit. The kit actually comes with everything you see here, except the, the name tape for gear report, including the three batteries, the N90 batteries that are in here. This is a flashlight, so three different settings. This is on. Second click dims it slightly. Third click does an SOS blink. Fourth click turns it off. You can see that this is uh, machined aluminum with a nice knurled edge. Your lens is recessed a bit. That's good. It's protected. I have noticed this switch is pretty sensitive. I keep bumping it and turning it on. Here's our tube that it all comes in. This is a nice heavy duty. They call it mil-spec aluminum. Mil-spec is one of those terms that annoys me because there are military specifications for a variety of different things. And as it relates to just metal in general, I don't think it has any meaning to say mil spec. It's still supposedly a good quality of aluminum. It is heavy, um, feels pretty durable. It is very cleanly machined. There are no rough edges or anything. It uh, pretty well done. I mean, all the craftsmanship here I really like. This is a beeswax candle. It says it'll work for six hours, and it's actually within the end cap that screws on. Um, and there's a very large liquid-filled compass here on the back side. So that's, that's a great thing to have when you're out in the woods trying to survive. This is a pretty clever way to put instructions in a tube. Within this vessel are some essential tools for self-preservation. However, the most important aspect of survival is the ability to keep a positive attitude. That may be the most important thing on here. you got to have got to have that attitude with the will to survive if you're going to make it in the real survival situation. Here we see instructions on how to use all the different tools that are in this kit. So that is really fantastic that they have figured out how to put this, all of that information very succinctly in a little instruction book that fits within their kit. The different things that we have here, a wire saw, it's actually a nice little saw with some um, cloth pulls on each end so you don't cut your hands while you're using it. Fishing tackle has got quite a bit of line, um, a reflective spinner, a couple swivels. It's got a pack. I don't know how many fish hooks. It looked like eight or ten fish hooks. Two clamp-on weights and one teardrop weight. This is a, a pretty robust, very small kit that's going to allow probably a couple people to fish at the same time or one person to, to fish and, and lose some things, put multiple lines out. Can opener. Can opener and water purification. It's a little military style can opener. And then I believe that's 10 aqua tabs. Each one is good for one liter of water. So it's not a long term water purification solution, but something to get you out of trouble. This is 25 feet of a 250 pound test line. It's very small diameter, likely like a Dyneema or a uh, Amsteel or spectral line or something. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, and this is a razor blade, full size razor blade. That's good. Here we've got an acrylic signal mirror, and it has it, it looks a little cloudy on here because it has a clear sticker over it that you can peel off to make it more reflective, but that'll keep it from getting scratched. These little quick fire starter look like <laughs> they look like. You know, combustible liquid soaked tampons. We got a bunch of weatherproof matches with a striker on the inside, so that's nice. Trail markers, there are 30 of these little thumbtack looking guys in here with a reflective arrow. Half of them have a white arrow, half have an orange arrow, an aluminum beadless whistle. So there's nothing rattling around in here. It's aluminum, so it's pretty durable. It's very high pitched and got some pretty good volume to it, so we like that. Here is the first aid kit. I'm not going to dig all this out. Uh, you can see it all in the other video if you like. It's got tape, some pain relief, a variety of different sizes of band-aids, butterfly wound closure bandages, as well as a knuckle bandage. So a reasonable amount of good stuff for cleaning up some small scratches, lacerations, you know, flesh wounds. 
So that's what we have. We've seen the flashlight. How it all goes together, pretty simple. This screws on, and then let's start putting in. That's it. Just slide them in here. You see they all go in pretty easily. That fishing one is dented. It gets stuck a little bit. I pulled this one to the bottom because it gets stuck if it's at the top where it was. And here you go. It all seals up. There's an O-ring on each end, presumably to keep it uh, watertight. So there you have it. This is Vessel. V-S-S-L from Vessel Gear. And this is what they call supplies. They have one for first aid. They have one for shelter. They have one for zombies. It has a big spike in it. If you want one with a flask and a little portable cup that you can use as a shot glass, they have one of those. This one is currently about $100. The others are um, between, I think the empty one's about $45. Some of the others are $50, $60, $70. Depends on what options you get. All the things inside can be refilled. They, you can refill it yourself, I suppose, or they sell refills anywhere from six to fifteen dollars for each of the little tins that go inside. So there you have it. In my mind, this would be great to throw in the back of the truck, throw it in the car, you know, the the trunk, the glove box, so that as you're out living your life, if something goes wrong and you find yourself in a survival situation, you have some of those core tools to help you get through that. Uh, it's not a long term survival solution, but it is something that can help you out of a, a bad situation. So very well made, well put together. Th this is really intriguing. I think it'd make a great gift. So there you have it, Vessel. I'll put some links in the description of where you can find this to make a purchase and the different models that are available. Let us know what questions you have. I'll also put a link to the longer video that goes into more detail on everything inside. Check us out on Facebook. Please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll also find us on Twitter, Gun District, Instagram, Tumblr. We're, we're all over the place. Go out and enjoy yourself knowing that you got some backup here to get you out of trouble. Anyhow, we'll see you outdoors.